To make sure people don't transfer characters, creatures, or items from their single player or other servers onto your Nitrato server, first step you need to do is go to your server's web interface and stop the server just like I'm doing right now, because you can't make any changes to it whilst it's running. Now that the server is turned off, head to the left hand side and you are going to see config files under the settings category. Go ahead and press that. That is going to take us to our INI files. Now from here, you want to go ahead and select the game.ini box and then in the drop down menu, select game user settings. Once you're in the game user settings.ini, you need to go ahead and find the server setting header because that is where we're going to put all our codes. And if you don't put it there, not going to work, right? So once you've found it, you want to go ahead and look through the list and see if the following configs that are on screen right now are in the list. And if they're not there, then we can go ahead and add them in. As of right now, the only setting you need is no tribute downloads equals true. Now this will disable the ability for anyone to download anything onto the server. So no creatures, no players, no items. However, it also means that if anyone uploads anything onto the server, they won't be able to download it back onto the server. But if they do upload something, they can actually run over to the single player world and go ahead and download it from there. So what I do personally to protect my servers right now until clustering is enabled is to first put on the no tribute downloads equals true to protect me from, you know, GCM cheaters, anyone that wants to spawn in level 5000 gigas, right? So that's enabled. So there's no downloads. I also enable the prevention upload one. And the reason I do that is because one, it prevents people from just grabbing something off the server and then just uploading to their single player world. It also prevents people from accidentally uploading an item because if they accidentally put something in the terminal, then they can't get it back and it's stuck there and then they've just lost it. Now, once you've added all those server configurations in, you need to go ahead and press save changes. And then once the server has saved, you can now go ahead and restart your server just like I'm doing right now and enjoy peace of mind knowing that no one will spawn in a level 5 million gear into your house. Thank you for watching the video. If you have any questions or video suggestions, please let me know in the comment section and have a wonderful day.